Okay. Well, we don't want to talk to them because they confuse you. That's for sure. Um, okay. Right now, this is what I'm seeing is you, Sag, just want to be left alone, can't be bothered. I don't want to deal with this. Um, they tried to communicate to you, but then you refuse because they don't really come with clarity. They have more questions and it's just like, this is nonsense. Why do we keep going back and circling into this? Okay, your first card is the Ace of Wands, Sag, which is fast, reactive kind of message. Aces are messenger. It is mastery for all the, um, you know, the suit. So you have mastered basically, um, you know, this kind of relationship where they would come to you when they need you and want you. And then afterwards, it's just like they don't really add to the connection. And that's why you're saying here with the Seven of Wands. It's like, yeah, that's not, that doesn't help me. It's like, no, no, Seven of Wands. Then you have the Eight of Swords over here. I feel like you're questioning now the person. It's just like, why do you keep doing this? Why do you keep asking the same question? Um, why do you keep wondering this? They are a little bit snoopy also with the way that they message you. A little bit testy and triggering. Because the Eight of Swords is like someone who plays with someone's mind. And you feel this. Like It's like, I'm more aware now. I think this is what they're doing to me. I think this is the reason why this, this is the reason why that. So you're there with the Eight of Swords, okay? That's why you're limiting interaction with them. So you probably find this connection right now. This is unhealthy. It's toxic, Sal. It's like it's not really helping you. Okay. The Sun. The Strength card. Oh, the Ten of Swords. The King of Cups. Okay. Um, you may probably have gone on vacation. That's the Sun. Uh, the sun is something, of course, like this is feeling good about yourself because this kind of energy is like I'm more happy now. I have healed myself. I've done things that I used to not do. I've stepped out of my comfort zone and I feel really, really good. Okay, because that's a sun card. Then you have the strength card over here. Now, on your end, having the strength card, I feel like, you know, it can be Leo to two Leo cards over here. The sun, remember, is in your seventh house. Mercury, um, Mercury is also in your seventh house. The ruler of the seventh house is, you know, it's it's good. You know, the sun is there. Everything is lit now. Remember, and we are still in Gemini season. Say, so Daryl, don't correct me if you're using Western. Okay, um, strength card here with the sun. You're able to see what you need, but the sun in the seventh also loses strength, right? So it's a digbala, and that's why you're losing strength and hope now here. But it's a new beginning also, because as soon as the sun is there, it's like going to give you hope. That's why the horizon is here. King of Cups over here is something about relationship-oriented, emotionally connected, right? But you're saying, like, yeah, I feel like it is what it is between me and my person. I'm ready to throw in the towel. It's not really helping me anymore with the King of Cups. It can be a Scorpio also. Yeah, you're ready. Not just throwing in the towel. I feel like you're donating the towel, Ten of Wands, because you're just taking a break here, Knight of Pentacles, because your person is childlike. Yep. You didn't just throw the towel, you donated it, and at the same time, you burned it. <laughs> it's like, man, you are burning bridges over here. Um, your person is in the speculation mode, wondering what you're doing, why you broke up with them, Ten of Swords with a death card. They claim that they're clueless. It's like, what did you do? It's like, I'm trying to reason out with you, and yet the Sag is, you know, just bounce. Uh, probably the Crosswatcher is wondering. When a Sag is done, they like, it's hard to get them back. Because it ain't fun anymore. You know, they lose interest if you are not fun. Okay? Um, when I say you're not fun, it's like, this is more stress. I don't like stress. I, I resonate with happiness and joy. Why are you stressing me, Eight of Swords? Why are you doing this to me? I'm out. Death card. Um, if just, just in case you're wondering how they operate. Kind of that's how they operate. Uh, they are very optimistic, outgoing, easy, right? They joke a lot. So any slight kind of like depressive kind of energy around them, eh, they don't like that. Here are three ways that citrine can empower you today. Citrine is commonly used in feng shui to attract wealth and success. It is an affordable substitute for yellow sapphire, which is connected to planet Jupiter, the planet of luck and growth. Citrine also helps to improve self-confidence and reduce anxiety. 
which has helped me and so many others during our most difficult times. Start your journey to wealth and inner beauty with Eatreat Love's handmade citrine bracelets available now. So, Hangman with a Chariot, um, Ace of Swords. Oh, okay. Well, I guess there's something that is going to come around here. There's Victory, Ace of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. If you're trying to win a contract, this is about financial gains. This Wheel of Fortune is Fortune. Ace of Swords in application, Visa, Passport, Business Permit. The Crown is Victory. Um, when I started my business, ooh, I had Citrine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it led me to Victory. Yes, I started with nothing. If you do, if you guys don't know where I started, I started in the hallway of my room, which is as small as a shoebox. And now I have a lot of shoeboxes. Okay. So if you want that victory, it's in the description box below. I highly suggest it for the Sag, of course, left wrist to increase uh, wealth and finances. Unless you have a lot, you don't need to wear it. But if you don't, wear it. Thank you. Chariot with the... Um, try it with the hangman. So there is some parts of you right now that is still kind of stuck with this person, Sag. Um, you tried to move on. You know, you probably bought a new car also with the chariot. Um, you have to look at the dignity of the fourth house if you're trying to have some to buy some car, uh, a car. Sorry, for you it is ruled by Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter is luxury car. Um, just luxury. Venus is luxury, but um, not like Jupiter luxury. Uh, Jupiter Luxury is like a Maybach, like that. So you have to look where Jupiter is right now. But Jupiter is in the fifth house. Business opportunity can be there. Okay. I would suggest, like, you know, if you're buying real estate or property, not this year. Well, I feel like yes and no this year. All right? But if you have a chance right now, because you have, you, you have favor of Mercury in the seventh to sign a business contract, this is the time. Very good contracts. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mercury is five degrees, okay? Let's see. Oh. My, 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 Sharona. Who is stress? Nine of Swords. Emperor. Okay, who's your daddy? Daddy's stress. Overthinking about a situation. You know that they thought that they can stress you, but that backfired. They thought that they can make you feel like, ooh, worry that you're going to lose them. That backfired. That doesn't work on a Sag. If you're just going to make me feel miserable, I'll take you out. Take you out. You know? They didn't see that. Um, Emperor with the Nine of Swords right now, your person is overthinking. I don't think so. I mean, they're just not thinking. Okay? So they're there. Okay, they're questioning right now what they have done to have swords because no contact and no communication. Hmm. Very confused, Seven of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. You used to chase them. You used to think that they are the one. You used to manifest this relationship. But now you're not. Um, and you face a Ten of Swords. For you, it was like, okay, well, you know, whatever. Meaning, like, it's not, it's not. But the Wheel of Fortune is coming around. So you may be manifesting this person to come around to you. But with the Seven of Cups here, with the Ten of Pentacles, I'm not sure if they will. But let's just say they've been thinking. Okay, seven of cups with the ten of pentacles. Now you have a six of wands here with the three of cups. They're busy with work in their career. They are talking to other people. There's been some engagement, flirting around, like hanging out, casual. This is them buying time also. I see like, you know, they went out a couple of dates with someone else. Um, they do they do this because they're stressed. No, I don't know. Is that stress dating? I thought we only have stress eating. Because they're trying to think, uh, not think about you. Okay, so they've been whining and dining. Yeah, and this this person right now, if you are in separation with the Ten of Swords, I feel like they're doing what we call a serial dating. Ah, okay, that I understand. Okay, so they're in the apps and dating apps or social media. That's where they talk also to people. Oh, okay. Well, you need to know about that one. That's something that is urgent. Very urgent. Okay. Oh. This is a... This is an action that you need to... Um, how do you say this? Be ahead of them. Okay. Oh, yeah. You need to be ahead of this. Oh, yes, 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 yes. If you want to find out more about this reading, link down there in the description box below. I will continue it down there. 